Hi guys! Hey, it's Linz. I know this is weird. I don't normally film on Fridays, but I haven't filmed in a week. So I wanted to hurry up and get this up for you guys. So I apologize. This is a new setting. I'm in my, um, my living room. This is my coffee table. Um, it's pretty dark in here because you guys, it's only three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but I wanted to get this up for you. Um, we just got back from Montreal and Niagara Falls last night. So I wanted to share with you guys, um, the stuff that I bought. Um, so first and foremost, I got this adorable, I guess it's a notebook, but I consider it a journal. Um, it was $6.99 Canadian. So, um, probably about like five bucks US, something like that. Um, it was hard. I posted a picture on Instagram. It was so hard to choose. I went to a journal store. Um, I mean, this is this is cute. I mean, it'll make a cute, quick journal, you know. Nothing fancy. I just wanted something to remember Canada by. So that was the journal I picked up. Um, I got this strictly for the bag. It's just a bag of candy. It has suckers and hard candy. Um, but it's the Montreal Canadiens. Um, hockey jersey so I had to get that that'll look cute right <laughs> um, I got this cute sticker uh, when we were in downtown Montreal um, and this says I remember you learn something new every day so um, I've picked up these stickers from uh, Dollarama it's like their dollar store except everything's like it could be a dollar two dollars Kind of like our Dollar General here in the States, but I thought those were cute for, for doggy stickers. And then I found these elephant stickers as well. I just couldn't pass them up because they're adorable. And these, I would like screamed with joy when I found them. Quebec stickers. It's absolutely perfect. So um, that will look good in my journal. Um, I just picked up some postcards to use in my journal and to share uh, with some pen pails once I start writing. Um, these were free. We stopped at a church and took photos and um, they had rainbow flags everywhere because they support, you know, they support. So, and I got these big ones. These are so cool. I think I'm missing. Oh, there we go. It says, hello from Quebec. So, um, and then... I didn't really buy this stuff, but I got lots of, you know, free souvenirs. Well, this one was my husband's. He bought this box of chocolate cookies, so I had to cut it up. I'm going to use it in my journal. This was from our hotel room. It was an envelope to leave a tip for the maid, so I wanted to take that. It says merci, uh, but don't worry, we did tip her. <laughs> um, and then I have this bag of just random, random stuff I collected throughout our trip. So I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, this was a free magazine that was inside of the church. It's it's the English version, but it does have French in there, so I thought I could cut this up and use it. Um, this was from, so I finally got to meet my sister-in-law. She flew into Montreal from London uh, with her son, our nephew, so I finally got to meet her. Um, we've been talking on the phone since I met my husband 15 years ago. It was it was huge for me. I love her. And she brought me this um, beauty gift set all the way from France. So I cut up the bag and I wanted to save that. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is what kind of person I am. So in Niagara Falls, we paid to go on a boat that takes you like by the, you know, close to the falls. And this was the poncho that they gave you. And I literally cut it up. So I can use it in my journal because, yeah, I have to. And then I cut up the Dollarama bag too so I can save it. And my favorite peach tea. Um, it was also in French, so I wanted to save that for my journal as well. Yes, I'm one of those. There's the other. Um, a brochure for a music festival in Montreal. I think it has... Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that I can cut up and use in my journal. Um, and then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, I'm one of those too. Um, I took the the paper on the tray at the McDonald's. I was so excited because they have the M&M McFlurries and 
my McDonald's here in Michigan doesn't sell that anymore. Um, and then just receipts from parking. Uh, we went to the port in Montreal. And some body lotion that was given to me at the mall. I hope you guys don't mind this. I saved the fry box because it has the, the maple leaf. So, yep. And um, the Keurig advertisement that was in our room because it's also in French and I love coffee, so why not? And um, I took my son to the mall that was right by our hotel. He had to do some back to school shopping. Um, and plus our money is worth more there. So we found this really cool store called Amnesia. And it's only in Canada. I'm so sad. I was talking to the workers and yeah, I'm bummed because it's like it's like skater um, <sighs> skater clothes. So Spitfire, DC shoes. Um, it was just a cool store. I really loved it. Let's see what else do I have? I don't have a clue what that says, <laughs> but I saved it. I don't know. I don't even remember where that came from. It's okay. Let's see what else I've got. Uh, more touristy stuff, it looks like. Let's see if there's a map. I want a big map. <gasps> what is this? Yes. Okay. That's cool. See, there's Montreal. We're cool. All right. Forgive me, you guys. I'm excited to go through this. I just kind of took stuff wherever we went and just stuffed it in here. Here's some um, restaurant menus to use. Oh, here's my other postcards I bought. I love this one. A. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Niagara Falls at night. We didn't get to stay until dark because um, we had like an eight-hour drive ahead of us. So, um, but I did get the postcards. So uh, if you guys have never been to Niagara Falls, I highly recommend it. It should definitely be one of those bucket list things because um, it's just, it's unbelievable as you're standing there. It's, I, I can't even put it into words. It's simply breathtaking. So um, more stuff to cut up. When we paid $25 to park, they gave us this nice book. So I'll probably cut that up. <laughs> And more, more advertisements for the Niagara area. I hope you guys aren't bored. I'm so sorry. Uh, the Adventure Pass. A receipt. They have like a wax museum there that you can go to. This looked really cool. The House of Frankenstein. And, oh, that's so cool. That looks so cute in my, my journal. I wanted to go on this too. Look at it. You can see the falls. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that'll look really cool. Oh, dang it. <laughs> this was a beer advertisement, but I thought it was cute. And that's what we did, the Hornblower Cruises. It takes you, like, right up, right up to the falls. It's amazing. And just a couple more things. Looks like wrappers. Okay, Lindsay. Could have just thrown that away. Um, the souvenir receipt. What else? There's definitely no shortage of Tim Hortons in Canada. I'm telling you, there's like three per square mile. It's crazy. But I saved everything because it's in French too. So, um, oh, an A and W. We ate an A and W too, and it's in French as well. So I wanted to save everything. Um, these are some maple candies that I got from the souvenir shop. They were really, really good, but $7 for this. It was ridiculous. Um, they wanted us to pay for our picture. Didn't do it. Uh, receipt for parking, $25 to park. And then last but not least, this is the receipt um, for riding the boat into the falls. It was like $130 for all of us, but... YOLO, right? So, you guys, I have all of this <laughs> that I want to put into 
Let me show you. I haven't done hardly anything in here, you guys, because we've been so busy. But here's my current journal. Let me show you. I've only got a couple, couple things. Um, but this is a drawing that I did. I did it on tissue paper. I colored it in with my um, Prismacolor pencils. And then I used glitter glue on her eyeshadow and on her actual eye color. What do you guys think? Is she pretty? There's an artist that I follow on Instagram, and he totally inspired me. Emilio Ramos. Ramos? How do you say it? But I drew this freehand. I didn't trace or anything. So, I mean, not bad for a first time. But I wanted to do a rainbow bandana. So, I thought she was cute. Oh, come on. You can see lots of writing, more writing, my son's birthday, lots of writing, and this is where he wanted to go for his birthday, so I cut up the menu, and then this is where it stops. This is the last time I wrote, which would be Sunday, yeah, um, and I, this came in my Jeffree Star order, and I cut up the tissue paper. I wanted to make it rainbow stars for Mr. Jeffree Star, so... And then there's the other, you know, the rest of the tissue paper I just put on here. And that's where I'm at, you guys. I haven't written since Sunday. I'm going crazy. So I wanted to share with you everything I got in Montreal and Niagara Falls. And um, later after work, I hope to plan like a journal with me. And we'll get all this in here so I can start writing about our trip. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. I have to get ready for work now. Um, but hopefully I'll be uploading either later or tomorrow, depending on how busy I am after work. But um, I've missed you guys, and I will see you soon uh, with the next part. All right, happy Friday, you guys. Bye-bye.